Hello friends, welcome back to physics and animation. In our previous videos, we have learned about charge and the force associated with it. And now we know that when we rub an object, it becomes charged. But the question arises, is there a device that can tell us whether a body is charged or not? Yes, there is such a device and we know it by the name of electroscope. The device you are seeing right now is an electroscope which was discovered in the 18th century and is used to measure the presence of charge on any body. Let's learn about the important components of an electroscope. First, there is the metal stem, which is usually a rod or wire made of a conductive material like copper or aluminium. At the top of the stem is the charging electrode, which is a metal plate or a sphere made of a conductive material like brass. The gold leaf is attached to the bottom of the charging electrode in a way so that they can move freely in response to charges. It is a very thin strip of metal or gold foil. The electroscope consisting of a gold leaf are also specifically called gold leaf electroscope. The electroscope is usually enclosed in a glass or plastic enclosure to protect it from damage. Okay, now let's use our electroscope. As we have learned in our previous videos, when a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth, it acquires a positive charge. Let's see what happens if we take the charged glass rod to the charging electrode which is a conductive sphere. As soon as we do this, we observe a deflection in the leaf of electroscope. This deflection indicates that our glass rod has become charged. Let's repeat the same experiment with a plastic rod rubbed with a silk cloth, which has acquired a negative charge. And we observe same deflection again in the gold leaf, indicating that the plastic rod has acquired a charge. You may have observed that the leaf remained deflected only as long as the charged rod was close to the conducting sphere. And isn't it fascinating that the gold leaf in an electroscope shows the same reaction whether the rod is positively or negatively charged. Let's explore the exciting physics behind it and learn how this cool gadget works. As we know, conductors have positive and negative charged particles free electrons. When we bring a positively charged glass rod close to a conductive sphere, the positive charges of the glass rod attract the free electrons of a metal stem or gold foil and the electrons moves toward the metallic sphere. This results in the polarization of charges, where we see a positive charge on the gold leaf while the sphere becomes negatively charged due to the dominance of electrons. Since we know that similar charges repel each other, we see a deflection or repulsion on the gold leaf. The same experiment can be performed using a negatively charged plastic rod. In this case, the negatively charged plastic rod repels electrons, causing them to move towards the gold leaf. Once again, due to the same charge, we see a similar deflection on the gold leaf as observed previously. And when we remove charged rod, the distribution of charges occurs and leaf comes back to their initial position. The amount of deflection observed in a gold leaf give us an estimate of the magnitude or strength of the charge present on the rod. A greater deflection indicates that the charge on the rod is stronger in magnitude. For this purpose, graduated scale is provided on the electroscope. And this is how an electroscope detects charges. But how can we tell a body has a positive or negative charge? Can the electroscope help us? Yes, it can. Let me explain how. To determine the charge of an object using an electroscope, we need to first give the electroscope a known charge. This can be done by touching a positively charged glass rod to the conducting sphere of the electroscope. As a result, some of the electrons in the electroscope will move towards the glass rod and neutralize its positive charges, 
causing the gold leaf to deflect. This happens because some of the electrons in the electroscope have moved away, leaving it with a positive charge. Even after removing the glass rod, the electroscope will remain positively charged and the gold leaf will remain in a deflected position. This process of charging a body by direct contact is called charging by conduction. Now, that an electroscope has positive charge. When we touch an unknown charged object to the conducting sphere, the gold leaf deflects back or return to its original position. It means that the body was charged with an opposite charge to that of the electroscope, which means the body will have negative charge in this case. This happens because when we touch a conducting sphere of electroscope, some electrons transfer from the object to the electroscope, neutralizing the effect of the positive charges generated in the electroscope. As a result, the gold leaf returns back, and the degree of deflection shows the strength of the charge on the object. Similarly, when the gold leaf deflects more or remains in the same position, indicates the same charge on the object as that on the electroscope. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.